Hey y'all, it is me, Zarela, and I am back with another mug and video. Hey. So we are back with no other than the teen pregnancy challenge. And in the last episode, we had our baby. We had a baby girl and we named her Ellie after Jade's birth mother who passed away. Her name was Elise. So we named our daughter Ellie and I asked you guys to make up a middle name for the baby and we are going to name the baby Ellie Murray Bell. I think that's so beautiful and her nickname is going to be Elle or Ellie Belly. Y'all came up with some really cute names so I'm excited to call her little Ellie Marie. In the last episode we were also offered $10,000 to get rid of our child and we were nine months pregnant the audacity. So in the last episode, someone left us a note at our front door. It was pretty crazy. If you want to find out the tea, go to the last episode. So this episode is going to be a little different. We're not going to be starting off playing with Jade, okay? We're going to start off playing with no other than Andrew. I left you guys on a little cliffhanger last episode and Andrew called Jade at the end of the episode and we're gonna find out what he's going to say so if you are excited for this episode then go ahead and hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload period and let's aim for another 4,000 likes so if you are seeing this right now hit that like button right now okay so yeah let's go ahead and get right into the video Alrighty, so we are here with Andrew and he is so pissed off, okay? He is mad. He's currently on the phone with Jay. We'll get into their conversation in a second. But let me tell you why he's mad. He is so mad because he did not know that his mom tried to pay off Jay with $10,000 to get an abortion. He was so confused when Jay came over to his house cussing slapping him and just very upset like he was so confused so he had a whole heartfelt conversation with his mom but he thought he was basically telling her all about jade and her situation how she is living in an abandoned home how he got her pregnant he was basically saying how he doesn't want to be in a relationship with her but he wants to still take care of his child and also pursue his career in football but his mom shut it down. Like after he told her all of that, she snatched his phone, went through his phone, found out where Jay lived, found out Jay's number, found out everything about Jay, read all the text messages. And that's when she went and took that basket that he had no idea about. But basically when she said no to him, she was like, no, I don't ever want you contacting her again. We will not ruin your career. He is a mother's boy. The first thing he thought of was like, damn, this is my child. Like I can't do this to my own child. But then he thought about his football career and stuff so he was basically thinking about it and he started to ignore Jay. he never responded back to her text messages and stuff and he was basically just going through a lot of thoughts and emotions and stuff about whether he should listen to his mom or not and so when Jay came over he was just so confused about what was going on and he was just basically telling her like, yeah, I just, I can't do this. I'm sorry. Like he was still on that hope pursuing his football career just to make his mom proud. Cause his mom's always told him like, don't get these girls pregnant. Do not ruin your life with these little fast girls and stuff like that. So he wanted to make his mom proud and he did that. But once he found out that she left that ten thousand dollars for her to get an abortion oh baby he is pissed off okay so he is on the phone with jay right now basically just letting her know that he had no idea that his mom left her that much money to get an abortion he is so sorry that she would even do that he is so pissed off and he is going to have a long talk to his mama um or he gonna end up cutting her off because he wants to be in his child's life and he's not gonna let his mom run his life anymore he's grown now he's in college he's living by himself 
He's just basically telling her like, I'm about to come over. I want to come see my daughter. I don't give a F what my mom got to say. And I'm so sorry, Jay. I'm about to call my mom right now. So yeah, as you can see, he has the best relationship with his mom. He is such a mama's boy. And he cannot believe that his mom would even try to put his career over his own child. You know, her grandbaby. He is so like, wow, like this is really how my mom is going to do me. Like she really going to try to keep me away from my child. So yeah, right now he is going off with his mom, sending her all types of texts. Like I cannot believe you would do this. I cannot believe you tried to get Jade to get an abortion. You know, I said I wanted to be in my child's life. I can't believe I even thought to listen to you. I can't believe you even wanted to keep my child away from me. I am so pissed off at you, mom. And he's just going off on her. She's talking about some, hey, Andrew, I'm sorry you're feeling angry. Let's go off to the pool. Um, no, going to the pool. Yeah, that used to be our thing, oh, chilling at the pool and stuff. But now, no, we is not about to do that. I am so pissed off. Right now, he's feeling like he doesn't even know his mom anymore. He doesn't even know who she is. He's kind of feeling like, she's trying to just use him to get to the money because she knows how good of a football player he is she knows he's gonna make it to the league and he's just like i don't even know who she is anymore so they are now just acquaintances he just very pissed off look he is so mad he is also sad look he don't know how to think he just can't believe this is going on so i want him to go ahead and try to cool off a bit we're gonna blow off some steam we're gonna try to calm down and start thinking about what's our next step let's go ahead and just take a peek into his life real quick while he tries to cool down okay so look at this uh jade is up here they have a little red relationship we want to try to fix that so bad because we feel so sorry we are the one that put her through this situation you know so they have a little bit of romantic like it was just like a basically a one night stand and then after she slapped him yesterday that's why their relationship is in the red and then he has a couple little thoughts he messes with <laughs> y'all may notice one of them and then as you see he has a deceased grandmother right here so this is his grandma marie and he had the best relationship with his grandmother and she unfortunately passed away he also has a dog max um in the last episode we thought that he didn't like dogs because he came over and start fussing at our little puppy for whatever reason but he actually has a dog named max and this is a little pit bull <gasps> he's so cute so freaking cute and see look he doesn't have a good relationship with doodle i don't know why i think doodle didn't like him and then um yeah we don't i don't know how his relationship is with Johnny. But yeah, that's a little backstory of him. I feel like he has cooled down a little bit. He's feeling dehydrated. So we're gonna come in, have him get some water and drink some water. So now he's thinking like, what should I do? What should I do? How could I make this up to Jade? And I really wanna go meet my daughter. So he's going to text Jade like, I'm about to come over. I really wanna see my daughter. And he is gonna bring her some food so i think we're gonna do like a little order zoomers food delivery and we're gonna take jay some food i'm gonna take her chicken stir fry we'll take some for us too let's actually take like four plates of chicken stir fry or else we could bring her a bunch of different foods we can get her some chicken stir fry some capri salad and some black and bass so he's gonna order her a bunch of food oh he has his grandmother's gravestone oh that is cute he takes it everywhere and then we also want to get her some flowers we're gonna get her hopefully some flowers maybe some daisies yeah i'm not gonna get roses because i feel like roses are like romantic let's do some tulips oh and then let's get some little toys for the baby. 
Aw, and a little book called Princess Plumbob's Castle. That's really cute. A rubber duck, Charlotte's Pig. I think that's it. Yes. Okay, I also want him to give her some money. So he has $2,000. Who oh, is this? Johnny, will you leave? We got this credit card. He's gonna give that back to his mom. He doesn't feel right taking the money from his mom because he just knows it's not good money. It didn't come from, you know, a good place. So I'm gonna get this little ATM thing. And this is from Little Miss Sam's um atm my and he is going to buy a card we're gonna give jay half of our savings we saved up two thousand dollars that's all we have in our account that's all we have to our name right now and we are gonna give jay half of our savings a lot of you guys was like girl you should have kept that money and all that stuff but no jay just doesn't feel right keeping that money she knows that that money is not gonna do anything but make her sad mad angry whatever she, it's not gonna do nothing but give her memories of that note that andrew's mom left we are gonna get her a thousand dollar card yes and i hope he can gift this to her all right so i think we have everything oh the zoomer is here oh look at jl yes so jl is here we are gonna go ahead and accept the delivery and then say goodbye to our dog max and then we'll be on our way to go meet our daughter. He's feeling energized now. He is ready to meet his daughter, y'all. Why is he so sweaty? Oh, yes. Look at him saying bye to Max. How cute. Okay, so we're going to go unload the bag. Okay, so we got everything that we wanted to order and we are gonna go so he's feeling a little nervous because he is about to meet his daughter and i want him to go and apologize to jade Alrighty, so we have made it here and jade has waited for us at the door we are gonna go straight to her and apologize and give her a gift we're gonna give her these tulips and tell her that we brought some toys for the baby. She's like, I don't know if I wanna even let him come and see this baby. She's still a little mad at him. But she's like, oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> ah. okay, never mind. She like, uh, you really thought, <laughs> you really thought this little tulip was gonna do something? <laughs> damn girl she did not like the gift okay i got another gift for you i brought the baby some um toys and books and stuff and i also just wanted to give you a thousand simoleons for the baby so you can get whatever you need because i know you need it jay stop stop just stop okay let's see do you like it She's like, okay, she she liked it, kinda. She's like, okay, never mind. She didn't like it. She's like, what is with you and your family and giving money? I can do this myself. I don't need no help. Y'all. <laughs> she is just still mad, okay? Because he told her that he couldn't do it. So she just still thinks that he is just lame and she just can't trust him. So let's go ahead and knock on the door. Okay, go knock on the door. He done started eating. I didn't tell you to eat. Wait. Okay. He's like, can I come in at least? Oh, he hear the baby crying. Oh, the baby. Oh. The baby. Hold up. I put the baby in the crib. Okay. So, we are going to first go and set out this food. Like, I bought you some food, okay? Every woman loves food. So, enjoy yourself. We're going to drop everything off. The books. The toys. Oh, he went straight in. Let's go talk and rock and cuddle oh he went straight in to take care of his baby 
Oh, oh shoot. The baby. Oh. The baby mad at him. Oh. The baby mad at him. Like you wasn't there when mommy gave birth to me. Oh, how are you feeling about your baby? How are you feeling about... Oh, he gave his baby a kiss and stuff. What is Jade doing? Oh, shit. Okay, the house is just a mess. He will go ahead and bottle feed her and stuff. Jade up in here cleaning. Where you at? Where is she? Oh. <laughs> Look at them. Okay. So, we just want to finish apologizing to Jade. We don't know what we can do to fix our relationship. We're going to try and talk to her. We're going to talk about labor pains. Ask her how did the birth how did the birthing go? Oh, did she go to sleep? Okay. Guess that's our hint to leave. <laughs> Oh, look, he came in cleaning and stuff. <laughs> oh, she ignored him and went to sleep. Like, she's over him, y'all. She's over him. So, he's going to stay and at least try to help and clean and repair. Look at him. He came in here and did this by himself, y'all. He's going to repair the toilet for her. What else could I have you do? Do we have any more cracks and stuff? in the house oh maybe you can come clean this damn carpet let's say that he cleaned the carpet he's gonna come in hmm one of y'all said we should keep dust bunny we'll try to keep one y'all said it can give us stuff he can throw away this dirt on the floor it's getting late but he can also try and help to mow some of this lawn okay so that's what we're gonna say that he did he might as well do it all. <laughs> no, he can do a little bit of it. I want her to wake up to a surprise of it being a little bit better than before. He just wants to help and then maybe get rid of some of these cracks and stuff, try to help her, try to get rid of some of these cracks and stuff in the house, make it look better, you know? Oh. He really came over and did that. Then you need to mop that again. That is so sweet. And you need to apologize to little Doodle Baby. Go wake up Doodle after you done too. And then we're going to be done playing with him because I'm ready to play with Jade. I'm over him. Jade's still mad at him. Like, of course, she's not just going to gain his trust like, like that. You know, so it's going to take some time for her to start to trust him and, you know, get back in good standing with him because they never really knew each other. So they still just got a lot of relationship work to do, okay, to better their relationship. We're going to pet Doodle Baby um, calmly and then we're also going to give give a little Doodle Baby a treat. You can't give Doodle a treat? Okay. Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> Some Malga my sim, she's like, you're still here? Okay, go use the bathroom and then we're gonna play as Jay. Oh, she gotta use the bathroom too. <laughs> He's like, I fixed the toilet. Is she gonna walk up in there with us? Oh no, okay. He's gonna go and offer friendship to Doodle. And she's just ignoring him. He's gonna offer friendship to Doodle and then he's gonna leave. And I'm about to switch households. Okay, y'all. So that was the end of us playing as Andrew. How do y'all feel about everything? <laughs> How do y'all feel about everything that just happened? Do you think he made the right choice to come over and try to give her some money, buy the baby a couple toys, and give her a, a, a flower? Do y'all think he made the right choice by doing that? Jade is just still just uncomfortable with being around him. Look. Look. And he's really just trying to talk to her. And, and what she's going to do is... She's just gonna go ahead and tell him to leave. Um, 
Aragaba, yeah. She's gonna be like, well, Zombo. thank you for uh, cleaning up and fixing the toilet, but mm -hmm. it's time for you to go. Because yeah. I, I just. <laughs> Girl, stop. Please stop. Every time. Every time. She's just like, I just need time to think. Okay, so how are you feeling, girl? Do you have that money and stuff? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and get that into our account. We can also breed a frog and lay out some toys for our baby doodle. And I'm going to sell these little tarot roots. We got this flower. I don't even think she likes. Look at her. She just want to play her guitar. Cute. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna fill the dog bowl. When y'all said that we should keep this, so let's see if we can ask the bunny to search for valuables, I guess. Even though I don't like these little bunny oh, yeah. dust bunny things. Ooh, keep that to... And then I guess we'll go ahead and eat some of this <laughs> food that he brought. Stop! Please. <laughs> y'all should have never had me kill time. Y'all the one told me to rip his heart out. So y'all have cursed my sin for life. That's her new thing now. Get used to her. Leg break. Leg break. <laughs> oh, so dead. Okay, so let's eat this chicken stir fry. Like, mm, this is good. I appreciate him for bringing some damn food. But I'm still mad at his ass. Okay. So we got 1,600 simoleons. We are about to start um, working on the house. But in the meantime, our baby wants to pee. Our little doodle baby wants to pee. Can we take doodle on a walk? Take her ass to go potty. I don't think we can take puppies on a walk just yet. But once he ages up, we can definitely start taking yeah. it on walks. Yeah. We can tell him to go potty and then we'll put away the food. One of you guys said that we should get the busking for tip station ourselves and then go to like a really popular area and try to bust for tips. So I want to do that. I really want to do that. Yeah. Gr girl. Wait, did he give us some money? Jade's dust friend did not p feel particularly motivated or happy, but did manage to so have her really rustle up a few simoleons. Get on somewhere. I'm it stepping was. on the day. <laughs> I just can't. I just don't like those little dust things in my house. I just can't. I just don't like it. Okay, let's clean up a little bit. While Andrew was here, the little time that he did talk to Jade, he asked her if she could name little Ellie Bell after his grandmother that passed away. And Jay cannot stop thinking about that. And since he huh. is trying to be in his what baby's happened? life, she does want the baby to have a part of that in her or whatever. So once Ellie edges up into a toddler, I'm going to give her her middle name as Marie. And then one of you guys, I know I'm talking a lot, but one of you guys said, that I should get the different heights for Ellie. So I think I'm gonna try to get the different heights for Ellie when she's a toddler. So she could be like a shorter toddler and then gradually she can get taller and stuff like that. Hopefully that'll work. We didn't hear back from university, did we? No, we didn't. And we applied to university. We just haven't heard back from it. So let's see, what can we do up here? check our application status let's go check our application status and then if it's not good we're gonna try and apply for some scholarships <sighs> only my sins only my sins we could do that <gasps> oh shit we got accepted y'all we got accepted to university. Let's apply for a scholarship first before we try to enroll because we sure ain't got no money for that. And our little baby Ellie is crying. Okay. What do we want to apply for? Brim to Bay resident. Oh, yes. Let's do that. Sims with really low household funds will be eligible to apply for this. Oh, let's do education for all because we are just 
Huh? So broke. We definitely need this money, okay? But she is happy that she got accepted. But we are gonna go in, take care of our baby. Let's go change a little Ellie Belly diaper. It's okay, baby. Eat, eat. Make a silly face. Yes, I love you, little Ellie Belly. Ellie Belly. Nah, Ellie Belly. Or Ellie Marie. Yes, feed your baby. Oh, I didn't even tell her to do that. She just knew. She oh. knew. I love to see it. They are so cute. Oh, love Oh, okay. And oh, I wish she could read the book to the baby. They need to. Come on, Sims. Like, update these babies. It's a shame that these babies is just stuck in this damn crib. Their whole little baby life um we're also gonna come and try to chat with patchy because y'all said that he can help out around the house and clean stuff and fix stuff so we're gonna go and chat with patchy so we can have a little relationship with a little patchy you better not scare me again okay question the ability to scare crows and then tell harvest jokes so what's our relationship with Patchy? Oh, I guess Patchy ain't in our little relationship stuff. Oh, do the baby outside? <laughs> do the baby been stuck outside? I'm sorry. Uh, can go chew this little toy. Oh, we got dirty clothes. And we're dripping blood. Oh, no. Okay, we got a lot to do, y'all. We're on our period now. We are not prepared. So we're gonna go ahead and get some pads and tampons. Open the box, unpack the box, and we're gonna use a pad because we just gave birth. So let's use a pad for now. And then we need to see about what we can do about these dirty clothes we're wearing. Jade is going to get on the computer and start to order some clothes, okay? So we can change her outfits, maybe in the next part. So, our clothes are dirty. We need to be able to do laundry. So, I'm thinking we get a clothesline. We can dry our clothes there. And then we can also get this old Timmy's wash tub for a hundred simoleons. Um, this is all in the front of our house. <sighs> It'll get better one day, y'all. It'll get better, okay? I would put it in the backyard, but right now the backyard is just still look like scary looking, okay? Some of y'all said I should turn this shed into the vet area, and I think that's a great idea. So once we can get to that, we definitely will. So we got laundry out the way. We have 1,300 simoleons left. Our baby is gonna be aging up into a toddler in the next part so we're gonna need to get a better shower um we're gonna need to get a shower and tub combo and we want to try to go for the cheapest one so this one is looking like the cheapest one it is 845 simoleons we're just gonna get this one it has purple and it has blue so that is our tub we have 513 simoleons left Let's go ahead and try to fix up our kitchen. So what I want to do in this kitchen is I want to change like the layout of it. So I know it's real unrealistic to move the windows and stuff, but I'm doing it. I think I'm going to do the windows like this. I want to put the oven in the middle like that. I want to put the sink over here. This is just a better little situation. And then we are gonna try and look for some different counters. Okay, for now, I think we're gonna get these with the brown wood top. Let's go ahead and change the color of our oven to white. Hold up, y'all. These are a dollar. These little counters are a dollar. Hell yes. I love this marble, but I hate the color. I hate the gray. I don't know which one to get. <laughs> y'all, comment down below. What y'all like better? One or two? Okay, so good. Now we can get these. 
Okay, so these are 50 each. Do they look right? They're kind of cute. Okay, so everything is temporary. Do not think that everything is going to stay like this. This is our first time having a house, so our first time decorating our own house. So we don't know if we're getting what we want or not. I think we're gonna get these. They're 165. <laughs> That's just too much money. We trying to do too much. We're just gonna do these lights in the kitchen. It's already starting to look cleaner and better. I want to paint these walls. It's, ooh, I hate it so much. Okay, so I know normal houses have like white walls, but in the sim, it looks so, I don't like it. I've never liked playing white walls in the sims. So we're gonna get these gray walls because I think it's gonna be cute. Now that we got the gray walls, I'm like, should we get this? think we should I don't know what I was trying to do with those other counters we are getting somewhere okay very much somewhere now we need cabinets okay so we need the mink s series cabinets to go up here we might as well just cover the windows And do a little something like that. Yes, can we change the color of these windows? Well, in one of these episodes, we'll do window replacing. But we can at least try to paint the kitchen windows for now since we're working on the kitchen. Um, ooh, should we do a blue fridge? Put contact paper on the fridge and get a blue fridge. It's looking good, it's looking better. Okay, should we keep these white? Should we keep white cabinets or should we do these? Let's just try it and see what we want. I think we're gonna do white. All that is left is we need like an overhead to go over the oven. We can't afford it. Oh yes we can, okay good. Um, Nothing too crazy. You just need something to go over this. Maybe this one. I feel like I always use that other one. We could try this one. Should we get black appliances in here eventually? Hmm, let's do black. Let's get black appliances. We're going to upgrade our oven soon. I guess we can go back to a black trash can. And then our kitchen is looking better, y'all. We can even get a little backsplash back there. Some brick. I think that looks good so far. Only thing I'm not loving are these bar stools. Even though they're a dollar. <laughs> I kinda wanna change them. Okay, so we're gonna do these bar stools. And there we have it, y'all. Wait, should we put our trash over here? Yes, I think we definitely should put our trash right here. Okay, look at our kitchen upgrades. Okay, so we have strawberries and tomatoes in our inventory. We're gonna put some up here so we can save some in our fridge. And then we're gonna sell the rest. Damn, those sell for a lot. Hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> we might need to plant some more of those. And then this little thing, let's make it black so I can match our kitchen. The rest of our money, I want her to order some clothes. So that's gonna be about 200 civilians, let's say. If she ordered clothes worth 250. We can go ahead and change some of her clothes, but we're gonna do that in the next part. Let's change the flooring in the bathroom also. I think that was enough remodeling for today's episode. So we just need a laundry basket and then we will be Gucci. Oh wait, does this one work? Okay, y'all. Yes, look at us. Our house is starting to look way better, y'all. Can y'all see the potential? 
Oh, I love it. We gotta get some decorations and stuff. And we're gonna make it look good. We need to start working on this room because this is gonna be our little toddler's room. So in the next episode, we will definitely do all of that. But for now, I want her to come and do some laundry. So we're gonna go and wash this laundry in the wash tub while our baby is asleep. Scrub these clothes, girl, cause that is just dirty. Can you scrub clothes and stuff? And can you put this in the inside? I think you can, but I'd rather not get the floors all wet. Look, she's tired. <laughs> oh, the struggle is real for my poor sis Jay. The struggle is real. Okay, do we have anything in our inventory we can sell? So we got some frogs. Let's look at the inventory. We got a frog. Can we breed the frog again? Yes, we can. Let's breed it again, and we're gonna stop the table and try to sell some more stuff. We're also going to rummage through these spring decorations, and then I also, I want to see how much a busking little station thing is, because I really want her to make some money from playing her guitar. And if we can, we can start to write a book. We can start to, try to write our first book yeah. when you first begin to write books you start off with children's books so we're just gonna we're just gonna pretend it's a it's like a teenager book or whatever and we're just gonna name it my runaway teen pregnancy story today's mail has been delivered Thank you, Deontay. Let's go get the mail. Girl, she is scrubbing the hair out of them clothes, okay? And then we're gonna need to unload and hang them on the um, clothesline. But I want her to search for some more decorations so we can sell those. You know, we just, we're trying to make our money. We also got some stuff to harvest. So we're gonna harvest all of our stuff and just make this money real quick. Okay, so we got these little decorations i'm gonna go ahead and sell a couple of extra money that's nice i love that my teenage pregnancy story this is a teen book by jade bell okay so i'm gonna let her write this for a little bit you about to go poop hurry up and poop so i can sell it food stamps coming tomorrow hey oh food stamps is not tomorrow it's actually gonna be next week i just forgot to fix it on the calendar getting so tired let's go do everything else that needs to be done we got our clothes sitting in that dirty bucket soaking in that bucket all right so we got our mail we got our acceptance letter yes that's what we was waiting for I should have let her just get the letter. I checked it online, so we already knew we was accepted. So she's definitely gonna go to U of B, <laughs> University of Barchester, um, because we're gonna go for our biology degree. I think we're gonna put a couple of these little flowers up in here. Three of those, and then I'm gonna sell the rest like this. Oh, look at this money. Yes, see, we making good money from gardening. Oh, we got a thousand simoleons. Yes, that is it. That is it. Let's go stock the table. Check up on our baby. Just up in here, quiet as ever. Let's go bounce and quit. Give our baby a little attention, and then we will get us a little nap in, and then try to tend this table and get some more money. We're just trying to get all the money that we can get, y'all. Oh, <laughs> Ellie went to sleep too. Where is Doodle? Doodle, I'm so sorry. I am horrible. All right, so our baby woke us up. We're gonna go and bounce and shush, and maybe bottle feed again. Cause I think it's definitely feeding time. It's been a couple hours. Look at our eyes. We are so tired, y'all. <laughs> yes, baby. Hush your mouth, okay? Yes, I cannot wait to age this baby up. She's gotta be so cute. I gotta go CC shopping. I have to get some more toddler CC, okay? 
because we're about to make this baby cute as ever. Now that the table is stocked, let's go tend the table and then start our yard sale. Hey, oh, these damn clothes is never gonna dry because this, <laughs> this raid. You can tell we are new to uh, living on our own. All right, y'all gonna buy something or not? We got Victor and Lily Fang. They done came up here as a couple. Thank y'all for coming. Wow. Go ahead and give some sales pitches, girl. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. It's give me some money. Rishi. That was some uh, good money. <laughs> we are definitely selling all of our collectibles on this table, y'all. We got like almost $300 for that capsule. And Krista always coming back. Yes, y'all know why we having the good stuff. It is raining. We need to get an umbrella, y'all. We just out here living ghetto. Girl, what is you doing in my house? And how the hell did you get in? I thought I locked both doors. Oh no, it wasn't locked. Girl, you need to leave because I don't know who you is. She up in here trying to take care of our baby. I don't know you. And she's like, oh, this house is filthy. Girl, you better hope Jay don't catch you. Oh, she caught you. She caught you. <laughs> Let's end this yard sale because I think everything is sold. Girl, what was you doing in my house? The hell was you doing in my house? We got to snatch her weave. We have to. No, we have to we have to snatch our weave. Can you do it? And our baby is crying, but it's okay to let your baby cry for the second. We definitely about to snatch this lady's weave. I hate to do it all out in the public, but I don't play. Don't ever go back in my house. We got child support, y'all. <laughs> Damn. Okay, a lot just happened. We just snatched this lady's weave. She's now bald. And we received child support and bills have to be paid. Oh, we only owe 303 simoleons for bills. Oh, this is the life, you guys. This is the life. Okay. Not really. It's not really the life, but <laughs> the bills be 303 simoleons. That's good as ever. So let's pay our bills. We're going to pay everything. We got child support. Hey, 607 simoleons. We are doing good on the money tip, okay? These clothes, I feel bad for because it's just horrible. Her reputation is just horrible. <laughs> Y'all, we do not play about people coming in and out of our house and stuff. Like, I'm not like door for everybody but household members. Our baby done pooped. Let's go change little Ellie's diaper and quit her and cuddle her. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and see how much the busking for money thing is. Center stage performance that space is only 450 simoleons. Oh yes, that is nice. Let's get that. And then what colors do you have? I like this blue one better. Good, I'm so glad that we were able to afford that in our inventory. And in the next part, we're gonna go and bust for some tips in popular areas and hopefully get some tips this time. Look who showed up at our doorstep knocking on the door. If it isn't Miss JL Brown, the, if y'all don't know who she is, she is from my last teen pregnancy challenge. She was our teen sim and she is here at Jay's door. Why do y'all think she is here? Comment down below, but y'all will see it in the next episode. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. I had so much fun. So if you did enjoy this video, then go ahead and leave a like, a sweet, 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 sweet comment down below, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.